Welcome to the Bare Naked ABCs, where we discuss every Bare Naked Lady song from the last two albums in opposite order. We are going to cover a whole bunch of songs, but we, we've gotten through most of that album now. We've gotten through the whole order of the old stuff, and that, that's the... I'm yeah. looking out the... Do you see what I see out the window right now? I think so. It's off in the distance. I mean, it, it started off as a red dot, but it's very odd. There, there's a guy in front on on this golf cart. <laughs> uh oh! Stop what you're doing! Please stop! I mean... <laughs> stop oh, no. what you're doing! What, what, what... This is hey, hey, hey! What are you doing in our neck oh. of the woods, eh? We don't want any trouble. What are you doing with these microphones? The I'm Irish now. <laughs> <laughs> We're Irish not. Canadian. We're Mounties. Irish Canadians. <laughs> I, I, oh, of course. Yeah. Wow. Canada's all it's inclusive. By an eagle. Multicultural program they had. That's right. What are you doing here in our neck of the woods, say? <laughs> Your neck of the woods. This is Maine. Ah, uh, not where I'm standing, eh? <laughs> oh well. I mean, we are close to the border. Like, you, you, yeah, you are kind of in Canada right now, but. You know, the green Mountie outfit isn't quite working. My mom made it for me. What are you talking about? What are you doing out here? I mean, it's almost Irish. It's almost Patty's Day, but I mean, it just green. Mike, green. I think these we're, are the two recording a that have been making us listen to the bare naked ladies the whole time. I'm a pirate now. <laughs> <laughs> Bar naked That's right. Ladies. It's me, the Irish, the Irish uh, Mountie, and this is my pirate Mountie, Captain Moose Knuckle. They call us. That's right. Oh no! I'm a pirate wow. now too. <laughs> Let's see. I was really worried. I was about to get arrested again for for uh, sneaking and spying on on Kevin, but I don't <laughs> know if these guys are legit. Voyeurism is it's against the aggressive. law. <laughs> So step away from your I... podcast. No. What if I give you a mulch then? Will you calm down? No. Well, I'll take one anyway, but uh, I, I, I mean, I'm bit. very parched. It sounds lovely. <laughs> I feel like we've been chasing them so long. It's been at least one week. At least since <laughs> since, oh. since you looked at me. <laughs> been Driving through all I, this weather, I feel like a pollywog in a box. That's right. <laughs> Deep down, him and I are lovers. It's snack time. Ooh, lovers in a dangerous time, eh? But we broke up a while ago. Like we said, Canada's oh. bounty force is very multicultural and very inclusive. That's right. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we have no choice but to do your podcast for you for reasons unknown. <laughs> Well, it sounds legitimate to me. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a bare naked ladies podcast. It could have been anything else. Any, anything. Anything else. God. <laughs> Why? Wait, there's a there's a bear. No. You better run away. <laughs> Get to, we'll oh, that's find okay. It. That's just my cousin. No, oh. it's a real bear. Oh, no. The bear is getting closer. <laughs> 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 oh no, it's the terrifying Google bear. Is the bear mo motorboating somebody? Oh no, run for the hills! <laughs> run, scatter <laughs> people, get out run. of here! Hey, Mike. How are you? 
Peachy Kino. <laughs> Peachy Kino. That's right. <laughs> So, if anyone can really tell me where that's from, what video game I played where I could bet on Kino, it was a spy game. A spy game? I feel like it was a spy game. This is going to go way too long. I want people to know. You know what? Do the work tell me, for us. Tell you, me what it is. Hey, subscribe to our Facebook and then tell us what Peachy Kino, well, no, the game Kino that Jeremy's thinking about playing in a video game. It was in a game that's not a gambling game. No, it was. Oh, is it coming to you? It was a, so you had to make enough money playing. Is Casino no Casino Royale is too early new of a movie? It was a James Bond game. It had to have been a James Bond. Game. It was Dolo Seven Goldeneye. Do you do that in Goldeneye? I don't know. I don't remember I don't, playing Kino. I don't fucking remember. Is it Duke Nukem? Definitely not Duke Nukem. Okay. No. We are Majestic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the episode's ending. <laughs> well, we're stealing the bare naked ABCs, Jeremy. A podcast. It's been going on for the last six years, going over each and every bare naked lady song, one at a time. That's what they alphabetically. do. Alphabetically. That's what they do, but yes. in the wrong way, right? Well, no. They start with Z. They start at A. Mm. We started at A. Now, the Bare Naked Ladies is currently putting out new music, so sometimes they have to bounce around depending on the names of the songs from the new albums. So, obviously, if they've already made it through the A's and then the Bare Naked Ladies comes out. Then they out, have to start over again. Then they, well, then they have to feed it in there somewhere. You know. They start the whole alphabet over right, again. Right. We got to start from the beginning. <laughs> they fucked up. They fucked us up. So, we got we to gotta start it one more again. <laughs> they are over 300 episodes deep, Jeremy. Wow. Over three, I was like, when I first came across this podcast and the research associated with stealing it, uh, the, uh, Jeremy, the only song that I knew is, you know, One Week, the, the one song that everyone knows. Yeah, it's man. It's, yes, it's the only song that anybody in America, <laughs> well, and, uh, it, well, excluding Maine. To, and uh, to, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you a house. But I'd, I'd buy you lots of nice things But not a real house that's cruel I'd open a Roth IRA And so as, I, as, I, as I'm going through the fact that The Bare Naked Ladies Jeremy, that's not the only music they made No, they did Nope It actually, in fact, they've made many albums Yes Many of them They're, they're trying desperately to stay relevant, it seems Trying their best. It's almost like they do this for a living, making music. So the first thing that I took a look at was their actual their actual discography. Bare Naked Ladies and I were born in the same exact year, 1988. Okay. <laughs> the, the, that year was forged a Mike Riley in a band called the Bare Naked Ladies. It's so when all the members were born or when the members came together? Right, to form a band, <clears throat> right? Year, year of the, the Dragon, 1988, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, my year with the dragon. <laughs> 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 Who's got the juiciest bee hole in town? <laughs> the dragon dish. <laughs> Big and slimy air, can I have a little bite, please? <laughs> oh, sick animation. But anyway, Jeremy, their discography starts in 1988 with Buck Naked, and then Bare Naked Lunch, and then Bare Naked Recess, and then Bare Naked Ladies, the yellow tape. And then this is variety of recordings, and then Bare Naked Ladies, 1992, also in 1992. Oh, wait, no, Bare Naked Ladies in 1992 was the UK release of the yellow tape, putting it on CD and vinyl. That's all very confusing. And then 1992 is Gordon, then 94, then 96, then 98, then 2000, 2003, 2006, 2007, 2010, 13, 15, 17, 21, 23. I mean, the longest that they've gone without making an album was like four years. And that was even like a November release up against another release. You know, an end of the year, you know, 2017 going into 2021 so they're not they work th hard they, they work hard i mean they're really putting their 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 heart and soul into making stuff for people and we love it when people make things a squid a doo doo humba hoop g uh jeremy you also found out that they made a children's album snack time snack time 
I thought that was pretty good. And it's funny because that's not even in their like studio <clears throat> releases, Jeremy. That's in their extra shit. They have snack time as you like it, bare naked for the holidays. These are additional albums that they've made in between those releases that I fucking said earlier in those years. Then they have compilation albums. They have the greatest hits album, 2001, 2006, 2007, 2012, and 2019, which is a, a series of, uh, you know, they have uh, the greatest hits, uh, hits from yesterday and the day before that, and then stop us if you haven't heard this one before. They know they're getting annoying. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> then studio, live albums, Jeremy. And then live albums, 1996, 20, 2004, 2006, 2007, yeah, they've 2016. Got like, like 50 plus albums. Jeremy, it's not, it's never ending. They, they just continue to continue, right? All right, Jeremy, going over their hits, the numbers of being on the Canadian, UK, I think that's NZ. Is that Nazi? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you have Canada, Australia, Nazi, UK, US. Uh, uh, and very, you know, various markets of charts, right? So in the in the nineties, going into the early two thousands, they got numbers all over the board, all over the world, getting getting in that top one hundred, right? So there's only one time that they're number one. Nope, there's two times. One, they had a song named Jane on the Maybe You Should Drive album that hit number one in Canada. The country that they were, you know, made in. You know, they're a Canadian band. What's that? <clears throat> What's that sound like? Jane? Yeah. I don't know. So, right, just, so we basically, just paused. basically, <laughs> what it what it is? It's like a it's a rom com song. <laughs> rom com like, song. Yeah, he's like riding. It's it's one of those scenes in a movie where he's riding his bike and like. He hits his face on a branch. He's like, "Oh!" And the girl looks. They look at each other and they laugh. Oh, it's like when keep... uh, when uh, when uh, Marty McFly's dad falls out of the tree after looking at his uh, future mom uh, undressing, and then he lands in the street. And then she comes out and help. Like she's like the way that the story originally went is she comes out to help him, and he's like, "I was bird watching." Yes, right. So he was voyeurizing, and then <clears throat> runs into a tree and meets Jane. Yeah, but that kind of went. That was like a two way street. Right, because he was peeping on her. But if you remember, wrong way down a one way street. Shout out, Lemmy. He was peeping Tom. People get that confused. They're like, "Oh, his dad was a creep." Mm -hmm. Like the and like maybe that's creepy behavior. But when that's feminism. Yeah, but when injured Marty <laughs> McFly is laying in the bed, she takes his pants off. Oh of him, yeah, she like is rubbing on him, trying to touch his dick at dinner. Right. She was doing that to McFly originally. Yeah. She was doing that to the dad after he yeah. was peeping. Right. So she was trying to get it too. Oh, she yeah. was being a creep. It's a too. two way street. Yeah. The right way down a two way street. That's <laughs> yeah. how you should live your life. That's right. Yeah. I agree. Look both ways. That's prop. You know what, Jeremy? Statistically, <laughs> that's a bare naked lady song. <laughs> probably. <laughs> we probably have a song about it. Um, so then we get from that number one hit in Canada. Uh, they were all that that song uh, was. Uh, what is the difference between these two? Oh, it's, it depends on uh, like releases. So they're number three on one Canada release, number one on another Canadian release. Zero, nothing that year anywhere else. So they're really they're really building their number ones in Canada when they start in the early nineties, and then Jeremy. They have 1996. The old apartment hits number 88 in U.S. <gasps> they're on the they're on the radar. The bare naked ladies enter into America at number 88, number 32 and 14 for Canada. Then 97, <gasps> America's starting to eat, eat eat up the bare naked ladies. Jeremy, they're number 73, 68, 23, 37 in the various markets. Now entering into the U.K. as well. Then with what hits like that's Brian we Wilson. Is the name of the song where they start entering into the UK? It's it's funny because that year that song didn't reach any charts in Canada. <laughs> so this, they were done. Canada was done with them. <laughs> Canada was Canada's done with like, them. The fuck the bare naked ladies, eh? So America gets a taste, UK gets a taste. Then one week hits. Yeah, it's man. And then skyrocketed. I mean, just fucking launched this band. Oh yeah, it was in movies. They had it all over the place. This is the last time they would ever have a number one hit ever. Yes. Ever. In Next. any market, I, period. I could have told you that. 
So, <laughs> so they're number one, not in Canada. They're number one in United States. Canada, they came in number three and number five in the various Canadian markets. Number one across the board in fucking um, America came in number five in UK. But we started to eat that shit up. We started putting it in all the best American movies. That's what it, yeah, that's what it was. You know? It was just in the zeitgeist. You listen, we're in Canada filming for our California scenes, right? Because it's cheaper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so so they're, they're in Ontario filming, uh, you know, California uh, scenes using Canadian music to emulate American life. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very Hollywood. Uh, so that's, that's 1998. Uh, they also had a second hit from uh, that uh, during that same year off of the same album. That album continues to get hits in... Uh, it's all been done as a song that hits number one off that same album, same year, in Canada, but not one week. And then the rest of the songs, you know, 81... 17 in one American market, six and 10 in Canada. And then, Jeremy, the list just drops. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we all know. This. We we gave that we gave them a few hits, you know, in the late night, like the, the number 17, 28. Uh, Pinch Me is a song in 2000 that hit number two in two U.S. markets. Right. But not number one. And then, Jeremy. It's just it's just starts falling and falling until it's I mean, until the point where it gets to be, I mean, non-existent. I mean, nothing. Yeah. Nothing across the board. So here right here, I'm showing Jeremy the I could have so Mike, here, if, and you then would, just, if, if you would have told boom. me what kind of chart you wanted me to draw with my eyes closed in regards to the bare naked ladies. It would success, have been a bell curve. I would have exactly <laughs> I could have done this whole thing. Up the, and I up. went up, 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 up. Oh, oh. Oh, well, shit. Okay, so basically the Bare Naked Ladies, uh, in compared to chart toppers, was edging <laughs> until finally completion. No, they didn't edge at all. They just they edged in Canada heavily. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Nope. Look, this is the edging, Jeremy. Look look at the graph. So edging, 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 edging. Ah! No, that, they then... just got started and then blasted off and then they were done. Oh, so it was just a quick... Yeah. It was a went, quickie. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, but this, uh, Jeremy, uh, this took uh, like 20 years. Overall. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, but the I conclusion still think it, I, been, I still think it classifies as edging. No, edging would be like <laughs> if they made it really big in Canada for a long time, was super underground. They didn't. They came to America and exploded pretty quick when it comes to me- years of music. From 88, Jeremy, mm-hmm. 1988, they're starting to make like and, and get numbers on the Canadian charts. Yes. It's not until 10 years later, uh-huh. a decade Yes. And then nothing. Mm-hmm. You don't think that's edging? No. I, I disagree. No, edging know, is edge, edging is getting close disagree. to the climax and then going back down and then getting close to the climax again and then oh, going back down okay. and then getting they just jacked off. <laughs> they just okay. they went, "Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah I guess you're I'm right. I guess you're right. I guess you're right." So Green Day is edging. <laughs> yes, Green Day has okay. been edging. <laughs> edging since <laughs> since they, that's how they they were like, oh my god, we're almost the most famous band in the world. Let me ruin everything and start from scratch. Okay, so how about Blink One Eight Two? Have they just been constantly climaxing since their inception? No, it's just they, one giant orgasm. I think they've had their little peak. I think yeah, I think they're staying right at about to blow. Like, well, they blew it with their last one because they got Tom back. And but even still, even their aliens, even the albums that they do. This is not a Blink One Eight Two podcast. We have to stop. <laughs> I would rather it be. I would rather it be a Blink One Eight Two podcast. Right. Then I can talk about it. <laughs> do we need to keep going over their stats? No, we don't. No, we can actually move on. Um, so their newest album came out last year in okay. 2023. Yes, I heard. Predominantly, some I'd like to cover you know the lyrics in one specific song because as on par with the podcast, they they I mean they shoot the shit, they talk about a bunch of stuff, but then they cover real they really dig into one song, and they not only do they dig, but they produce the you know like this is the baseline by itself for the song that we're covering and then oh. kind of break down the bass. I don't have any of that shit. No. <laughs> I, I don't even know how they do it in all no, honesty. Mike, let's not do that part. Right. <laughs> I, I want to cover the lyrics heavily, but the music, uh, they're very talented musicians. It's You can't say they're not talented musicians. 
But the music, in my opinion, after listening to so much Bare Naked Ladies, <laughs> it's like, what are you? <laughs> what, what's, what, what are you? <laughs> That's what I continue to, to, to yell at my, 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 my phone as it's blaring Bare Naked Ladies at me. Like, where's the freestyle rap? <laughs> right? <laughs> that we never hear again. <laughs> um, why Bare Naked Ladies, Jeremy? You may ask yourself. That's one of the things I wanted to know. I was just curious. I was like, what a weird band name. I find it bold. I find it bold. Why are you calling yourselves this? You know, why the bare naked ladies? Um, it really it really comes down to, uh, you got this guy, Ed. Ed Robertson. He's in the band. And he's got his good friend, Stephen Page. And then they have, uh, you know, they got some other people. Jim Cregan and, and Tyler Stewart. Right. And I don't remember when the drummer comes in. I thought it was weird because they were like, we're a band. And then at this year, after they've already been making music, they get a drummer in. And I was like, wait, were you making music without a drummer? <laughs> now they're making real music. <laughs> now they're making real music with percussions. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they, when asked in a 2002 documentary, The Bare Naked Truth, The Life and Times of the Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> 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 they, they they say that the name was solidified in a moment of panic. So uh, Robertson was one of the members of the band. He was going to be performing with his cover band for a char charity battle of the bands. Uh, and then the band apparently broke up last minute, but the gig was still booked. Now, what cover band, what artist do you think that he was covering at this time? This is probably the late 80s. <laughs> Or mid mid eighties. What band is he covering? What cover band? Morrissey. <laughs> Morrissey? Yeah. What is that? Oh. Um The Chins. The Chins? You're just making shit up. Say all... <laughs> the, the, the Chins cover band has a gig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. At the charity battle of the bands. <laughs> you remember their famous song Fly by Fly? Uh no. By the chins? No. Well, they pronounced it Fry Baby Fry. But. <laughs> fry Baby Fry, the chins. <laughs> oh, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I didn't do it. You did it. <laughs> well, I, I mean, you... <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> so when Robertson uh, was asked to confirm the spot, he improvised and then said that the name of the band has changed, and he... He panicked and said one of the joke names when they were talking about band names and they would just try to make each other laugh and then think about crazy band names. He said, Bare Naked Ladies. That's the story? That's the story. That's why they're called the Bare Naked Ladies. It's like, could you even imagine if we named our band this? Right? It'd be, it'd we're be so crazy. Silly. <laughs> we should it's call the band a couple silly gooses, is what we should call it. What do you think some of the other joke names that they. <laughs> We're, we're trying to talk about deep throat riot. Oh, that's good. That's good. Wait, how about how about Texas Texas trousers, Banana Republic, bacon, ba bacon, <coughs> bacon, Jeremy, Taco Tuesday, <laughs> socks, <laughs> seven seven socks, the Pajama Boys. There we go. Jeremy likes the Pajama Boys. Nope. Oh, um. Ted likes to dance. Wait, so the, the okay, so the it's very observational, right? The bare naked ladies. It's uh -huh. very descriptive. Yeah. So it would be the <laughs> over engorged penis. The jaundice riddled fetus. <laughs> right. <laughs> jaundice riddled fetus. It's a punk band. <laughs> oh, for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you think they knew that like their genre? Do you think that they knew the genre of music that they would even play? I don't think they know what genre of music they play right now. Oh yeah, yeah that that tracks that tracks very heavily. <laughs> uh, oh, so another thing that I found out is uh, you know the so when I saw the music video, I was like, oh, I have seen this music video because I remember that guy with the glasses, right? He's he's the one that says, yeah, it's Ben. Mm -hmm. Why weeks since you looked at me? Who is that one? His name is, that is Stephen Page. Yeah, Stephen Page. He's and no longer in the band. He hasn't been in the band since like 2009, mm. which I had no idea. I was like, that's the guy. That is that is the Bare Naked Ladies in my brain, you know? And then I find out that he hasn't been in the band for shit, 14 years? Yeah. 14 years he hasn't been in the band. And they've still been making music. 
And he got fired because he did cocaine one time in New York. Well, he got caught having cocaine on his person in 2008. And then in 2009, uh, he's not in the band anymore. So he was fired from the Bare Naked Ladies? He was fired from his, from his own band that he helped create <laughs> for having cocaine. <laughs> well, excuse me for being a rock star, right? Ed. Was the other guy's name Ed? Ed. Yeah. Well, excuse me for living life, Ed. <laughs> Do you know how expensive this is in Canada, eh? I'm one half the pair naked ladies, Ed. You know, it's man, that's me. <laughs> you can't do this without me. <laughs> in my cocaine field screaming into a microphone. And Ed continued his career with the bare naked ladies and proved Steve right. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> this guy, like, watching interviews with him, so he's the guy that comes, he's like, chicken in China, the Chinese, Chinese chicken. chicken, and then he talks, yeah. like, yeah, so, like, when I'm in the bare naked ladies, I, you know, I, I just, I'm trying to make good music, and it's like, why are you, fu and then you, hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I left a banana in the porch. <laughs> I was like, that is one of those voices like Scott yeah. Stepp and Eddie Vedder. You know, it's like the voice. It's like, how does that evolve this into Johnny Depp. this? It's Johnny Depp in an interview. <laughs> right, it's Dane Cook. It's, well, I knew it. I was writing a song. I'm running while I'm standing still. <laughs> Wait, is that your Johnny Depp? <laughs> you see, I, I was very positive. That that yeah, she took all of my money, you see. Uh, no, I've always dressed this way. The, no, unfortunately, my hair is not real. No, he does the same thing that fucking Billy Joe Armstrong does, the fake British thing. The fake British thing? <laughs> yeah. I've never seen Billy Joe ever do a yeah, break. Sure he does. Thing. It's the way he sings. Absolutely. Not even 100%. Nope. Absolutely. 100%. Wait, before or after he changed the way he sang? Yeah, well... <laughs> And so, anyways, I was on. <laughs> Billy Joe Armstrong has never sounded like that. No, he doesn't do it grungy. It's in the way he sings. It's not in the way he sings. Yes, it is in the way he sings. It's not. And I'm Jean Luc Picard. <laughs> Hello. Ah, the original drummer of the Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> right. And then you kicked me out. How <laughs> For, dare you? Uh, it was just because I was doing some cocaine. <laughs> It was the 90s. <laughs> I've been knighted. You think I can't do cocaine? So there's a song we gotta get to. <laughs> we gotta come with a song. <laughs> hey, everybody. Future Michael here. Just want to tell you about our band of the week. It's William Lanham. Imagine that. He sent us a voicemail asking for us to play his music, and we done did it. It's that simple. He left us a voicemail at our phone number at 903-287-0660 and has been featured this week as our band of the week. Uh, you may also remember how we shouted him out after producing the uh, Snow Problem uh, song, the the musical parts of Snow Problem from our Very Majizzy Christmas episode. So, very talented guy. Hit him up. And we're brought to you by Dungeon Studios, makers of 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons modules. They also have a new podcast, an audio drama, coming out April 4th called Fables from the Forgotten, which you should listen to considering I helped to make it. So make sure you go to your favorite podcatcher so you don't catch the first, you don't miss, so you do catch and do not miss the first episode. Um, yeah, if you want to help us out, donate to the show. Uh, you could do that through Spotify. There's a donate section there, I'm pretty sure, somewhere. And then you can buy a sticker at our Majizzy shop, or you can uh, just text me. I'll send you our PayPal. You're a billionaire. You got money to burn. You want to just watch somebody else do well <laughs> and compete for your billions. <laughs> so do that. <laughs> Bye. Oh. So I'm pulling up the song now. Jeremy, one of the issues that I had, I was listening to the Bare Naked ABCs, and then I hear the they have this thing where the Bare Naked Ladies uh, on YouTube were releasing the, the Bare Naked Ladies bathroom sessions or something like that. <laughs> and I was like, okay. That's not something you should type into the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I just thought that some of our best <laughs> thoughts come from when we use restrooms. Johnny Depp. <laughs> We're not letting you in the bare naked ladies anymore. You so have to I, get out of the bare naked ladies. So I was all like, I think I'm gonna write a song about sitting in the bathroom, bathroom sitting. <laughs> the, the the it's uh, it's it's called. Oh, here's an example. Oh yeah, bathroom sessions. One, two, it's been one week since you left.
So they would acoustically. That's not even the guy, though. It is. Oh, Coogan's back? What? Or Paige is back? That, that's Ed and that's Paige right there. So they're back together. Mm. Jeremy, this is uh, 16 years ago. Oh. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, they're, they're doing God, acoustic okay. versions. <laughs> they called it the Bare Naked Ladies Bathroom Sessions. And I typed that in because I found it. I was like, Bare Naked Ladies Bathroom <laughs> Sessions. Well, and uh, that's the fastest way to get to two girls one cup as I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> she finds some pretty interesting stuff. <laughs> it was horrifying. I was like, no. It's close up of a girl taking in. Oh, I was like bold to name your YouTube acoustic songs that. Uh, the Bare Naked Ladies in this newest album, it's very clear. It's very clear that they're going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> very, very intense. Uh, midlife crisis. A lot of their songs have to deal with the, the fact that they're, they're they're getting old. They don't have enough time to do the shit. You should cherish the time and in the in the in the in the things that you have and the connections that you make with people. You know you're gonna be dead soon. So either they have a hit on the band and they have a limited amount of time on on this earth, or they're going through a midlife crisis and they're saying, I you know I wish I lived my life differently. Uh, there's a lot of regrets that I have, and I'm very old now. Sorry, Stephen. <laughs> So, Stephen, come back. The song that I'm covering uh, on this episode of the Bare Naked ABCs uh, would be Too Old. What you fail to see, what you fail to see, uh, is that you don't scare me a bit. Because I'm too old for this shit. Way too old. It's just a little white lie from a little white guy. Why are you going to bring race into it, Ed? Shit. <laughs> and it never really made much sense. Put a little more time into... Meet her in rhyme. Put the Eggman on that fence. And Humpty's gonna fall. Fall down. <laughs> Humpty's gonna fall. Break your crown. Yeah. Keep your head on a swivel. Watch what you say. The devil you don't know... The devil you don't know wants to see you pay. What was funny one time is a crime today. And it See, never goes away. It's, it's all wrong. Can we hear? Can we hear a little bit of the music part of this? Because the lyrics sound metal. If you put metal behind it, you'd be like. <laughs> I need the, the lyrics though. The lyrics in metal. All right, so we paused again. Jeremy got to see the music video for "Too Old." So what did you think, Jeremy? Yeah, he's talking about freedom of speech, dude. You should be able to say whatever you want. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Fuck, go out there, kill it. You're crushing it, bare naked ladies. <laughs> that's, that's, Love it. So, a song of freedom. So he's saying, from your gilded glass house, you're hurling rocks. Mm -hmm. You want to see me shamed, displayed in stocks. What you fail to see is you don't scare me a bit. Because I'm too old for this shit. So he's so he's obviously concerned that he's said something. Like, it was a very heavy cancel... It's a very ca very heavy cancel culture uh, uh, song, right? It's just a little white lie from a little white guy, and it never really made much sense. Uh, put a little more time into meter and rhyme. Put the Eggman on that fence. Cuckoo, ka -choo. You know... And then he's like Humpty Dumpty stuff, you know. Humpty's gonna fall. He's gonna break uh, break your crown. Ooh, keep your head on a swivel. Watch what you say. The devil you don't know wants to see you pay. What was funny one time is a crime today, and it never goes away. Yeah, fuck it, America, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this guy speaks for freedom. This life can be really weird for me, for my children, and my wife. Sticks and stones used to break my bones. But now words can end my life. Because everything's a bomb. He lives in Canada, right? Yeah. Oh, this makes way more sense. Yeah. 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 I had a friend in Canada. Um, what for, happened to them? There's... <laughs> oh, no. I have a friend in Canada. <laughs> words took their life. <laughs> they marched right in. I have a friend in Canada. And uh, uh, she always uh, was a little, I guess she was the most offended in our Discord group over everything that would happen. And we eventually had to help her build 
you know, a, li- a little bit of callous to the fact that we're just joking, right? But everything was taken very literally. Everything was very, you know, black and white. And it took some time to, you know, kind of bring her to the, listen, we're Americans, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we we joke and, and we play around. I know this person. <clears throat> Do I know this person? Sort of. <clears throat> Mike, I know this person. There's no end in sight as we fight for right till we fill up all the jails. So now he's like, these people are going to jail for the things that they said. They are. They are. They are? Yes. They're going to jail. In Canada. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Mm-hmm. Filling up all the Canadian jails, all those Mounties, scooping up all the people. <laughs> yeah, come here. <laughs> you said the N word back in 1996. <laughs> there, put him in the back of the golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> and you said it while singing to a rap song. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you recite those Kendrick Lamar lyrics. When you're swinging <laughs> your hammer, slinging your grammar, ooh. ooh. Slang in that. Everybody looks like nails. The hammer's gonna fall. So he's just he's just pretty scared. I mean, he's like talking he goes into the glass house part again, people in glass houses slinging rocks. He's like, the the climate's the climate's very difficult right now to be able to speak your mind. Yeah. And I was just like, do better in America. He's you know? Like, <laughs> he's like, Well, I wrote this song. I- Scared they were going to freeze my bank accounts, but I wrote the song anyways. <laughs> Remember when Trudeau did that? Huh? When Trudeau did that? Oh, yeah. When the, all the truckers were on strike, he froze all their bank accounts to get them to stop striking. Yeah. 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 That's Talk right. Talk about overreach. Yeah, it's a little... A little ex- government just makes a phone call and all of a sudden I have no money. Yeah. Woo! Now, Mike, <sighs> that's not what I call freedom. We don't have that kind of stuff here in America because you know what we do in America, Mike? What's that? We win, baby. All I do is win, win, win. win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you love that sound, buddy. Yep. <laughs> I sure do. And I love the bare naked ladies. Good work. <laughs> I've totally flipped. <laughs> oh, Jeremy's, Jeremy's. Oh, wait. We had to come up with a name for what fans of the bare naked ladies call the ba- themselves they're the bare naked babies bare naked babies mm-hmm. yep the bare naked babies are fans of the bare naked ladies and uh you know the bare naked ladies they hold a special i didn't realize that they had a fan base you know an extensive fan base but they do <laughs> it might be probably not the right name for a fan base when you want to type it into google like try to get to the forum <laughs> so so Ed was writing his song about people uh, getting it so he's like so i came up with bare naked babies as the our, the name of our fans and now i'm getting canceled and i don't think it's right i don't think it's right <laughs> how was i supposed to know those pictures would be on there <laughs> <laughs> it's all come out context, okay? It was taken out of context. When you put it, when you put it next to two girls, one cup, you just—it's not—it's not what I meant. I didn't call them the bare naked babies. They started calling themselves that, <laughs> right? I think Michael and Jeremy from Michael and Jeremy Studio your podcast made it up. All of a sudden, everyone stops. Wait, no, everyone starts listening to the bare naked ladies again, and they hit the top of the charts. Because we talked about them on our podcast. Thank you're welcome, bare naked ladies. You're welcome for the skyrocketing charts you've not experienced in the last fourteen years or whatever. What are you doing? I was trying to see if there was an a, an official uh, name for the bare naked ladies anywhere. Oh, for the fans? Yeah, for the fans. Oh, you're checking to see if there was uh, anything. Well, if Tracy says that he's not aware of it, and he's he's one of the biggest bare naked babies out there, Jeremy, if he doesn't know about a name. <laughs> I love it. Bare naked babies sounds so good. Wait, no, cut that. <laughs> it doesn't wait, sound good. Wait, does that mean, oh, the B&Bs? The b and Bs. No, they're the B&L. Oh, well, yeah, I guess they'd be the, the B&Bs. B&Bs. Yeah. yeah, the bare naked baby. Yeah, they're yeah, the B and B's. Yeah, you just shorten it to B and B's, and then if someone <laughs> asks you what it means, you just decide not to tell them. But you know what it means because you're a B and B. I love them. <laughs> they're great. They've never made a bad song. <laughs> they speak up against the, the tyrannical government that's going on and all the and cancel culture, wild laws that are happening in Canada. I'm still, I'm still just wondering what, why is Ed so scared of being canceled? What did he do? He obviously wasn't cocaine because he shot fucking Stephen Page out of the fucking band for doing it. Is that the legit story? It was about 
cocaine. Yeah, yeah. He got he got arrested in 2008 for having cocaine in New York with a much younger girl than he was. <laughs> well, he wasn't a young girl at all, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and then uh, uh, the next year, he was out of the band. Conspiracy. So, do you think it was more of like? I don't. Th- the whole band's got to be doing cocaine, right? And then they were just like, "You were stupid enough to get caught, damn it, damn it, Stephen." What Fucking am I supposed Steven. to do, Stephen? Stephen, you bitch. Everyone knows. <laughs> Why well, I supposed to lie? We're the bare naked ladies, damn it. <laughs> we're swimming in puss and drugs, <laughs> and you had to go get caught hanging out with some bare naked lady. Uh, wait, hanging out with one of the our B and Bs in New York. <laughs> well, we are Majizzy Pod. We are MJ. That's why POD. And I don't want to talk about the bare naked ladies anymore. <laughs> the amount of their music that's in my I didn't even go over even half of the amount of articles I had saved. <laughs> <laughs> like screw it, listen I, to them or don't. Yeah, you know it's all about personal preference. Uh, I highly recommend listening to the bare naked ladies. They're my favorite band. And I'll put I'll go, I'm on record now. There's uh, bare naked ladies are my favorite band. They're your favorite band and, and thing to touch. I ask you, and I did what I had to do to win, but somebody wouldn't let us win. <laughs> Mike, get, get no, plug, no, plug our more, stuff. No, no, it's n- nine. Yeah, fourteen nine. Yeah, fourteen nine. Plug our stuff. My MJ, S Y P O D, on all the things Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, uh, our website. Uh, 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 <laughs> Wait, go ahead. What was the website? Uh, Majizipod.com. M J S Y P O D. You can go to our website if you want to support the show. You can go to our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Majizipod. M J S Y. P.O.D. And and then you can also find those same episodes on Spotify under our second channel, Michael and Jeremy Steal Your Podcast Supreme. You know, you can link your Patreon and get everything in one spot on Spotify. Okay. Uh, I do love that. You have that now. (laughs) You're welcome. You're welcome. I I put it there for you, Jeremy. Uh... Uh, if you have a band and you want us to play your music, please submit it to our email. It's u h j y e a h at majizipod dot com. There's instructions on our website. If you just go there, it'll tell you how to do it. You just click a button; it'll generate the email. You just send in your fucking music. Damn it! There's another button on the website, Mike. Yeah, it's a very important button. It's a very important button. It's the button to expansion. <laughs> That's it's right. It's the button to enlightenment, a future new world of entertainment. That's right. Yeah. The donate button. The donate button. That's right. It's It'll, probably the most important button. It actually gives links to our Patreon page. Do both. <laughs> uh, you can also go to the Majizzy Shop to support, which is one of the links on the donate. You can actually donate money, and then we'll give you shit as a result of that money. Couldn't you just go to the merch store then? Yes, Majizzy Shop, the Majizzy Shop, on our website. We have stickers and magnets for a limited time. At the Majizzy Shop? That's right. At the Majizzy Shop. Got a bunch of kids <laughs> riding on my back. <laughs> riding on the Merchak back. <laughs> and uh, submit your music. Uh, we'll also feature it on our playlist, Majizzy Playlist on Spotify, where you can find all of the bands that we have featured all in one spot. Find a new band today. They're all good. They're all great. They're all very good. And you can just go to a playlist and let it run. And you'll be very happy about it. You might even reignite some careers. <laughs> and some past loves. Fall in love today. With, with a, an alternative woman. Alternative girl. Gynosexual. <laughs> in flight. <laughs> in flight. <laughs> uh is there anything else? We we buried a treasure. No one cares. <laughs> There's but there is a real treasure. There's a out there. treasure with diamonds and There's silver and gold and, stuff, and clues on our socials. Might. You could just you know start finding the clues and obsess about it and create a Reddit thread piecing everything together. But you know that's up to you. That's up maybe, to you how you want to do it. Maybe we should bury the fact that we buried a treasure. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, and never talking about it again. And bring it up way later. Yeah. When, when there's a lot more activity. Oh, <laughs> yeah. When people actually start saying, I think I know where this is. Like yeah. one of our listeners did on a Facebook post. He was very wrong. But <laughs> <laughs> wait, that's a clue. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. If it's you pro- keep process go- of elimination. If you keep digging and marking it on a map, we'll tell you if it's there or not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you and guess- then the more marks, the more no's means... It's not there. It's got to be somewhere, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, Jeremy, I love you. I love you too, buddy. <gasps> blah, 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 blah. Peace. Bye. Ask you. And I did what I had to do to win, but somebody wouldn't let us win. that bear anywhere are we okay yeah i think he likes to head down to the bog with the pollywogs and hey. sit on the stump we're back hey. oh <laughs> hey what, what do you guys do with our podcast hey just wanted to let you know we're not really very uh what is it called very realistic looking <laughs> mounties we're not we're actually michael and jeremy yeah, yeah. and we stole your podcast what oh sorry Out. <laughs> I mean, Jeremy technically I mean, is sorry. a pirate. I would get it back from, from the repossession, but you stole our podcast? Yeah, we did. We did a great job, and now we're handing it back to you because I can't hold on to this any longer. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> did, did well, you I guess talk it's about not stealing old? if you're giving it back. That's Well, I mean, we did definitely take it. I if mean... I had a million dollars, <laughs> I would pay someone to take me back in time before I had to listen to that much. <laughs> so much bare naked ladies. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lot of bare naked ladies But deep down, it's not the worst I mean, it, you know, it could have been Smash Mouth, right? Ooh It could have been, yeah. sma- it could have been Smash Mouth uh, <laughs> It could have been Brian Adam but, Oh yeah <laughs> uh, We're going to get our flights back To Florida, where we hail from Are you, are you saying that we're going to be In flight? We are going to be uh. in flight, Jeremy Well, if we don't make it through the airport You can Blame it on me. Ah, uh-huh. so clever. <laughs> well, I would stop doing the jokes, but never is enough. Yeah. You got one Uh-oh, more in the chamber. The I don't just have one more. I have one night. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, good lord. Wow. <laughs> it's unscathed. It's uh, it's actually better than how we found it. We actually dusted it off a little bit for you and uh, may have worked some metal music into this. I don't know. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> uh, Who doesn't love a good remix? And, and, and that would be an interesting mix, like Bare Naked Ladies Heavy Metal. I want to hear that, actually. <sighs> mm. I'm sad about being old. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my keyboard sometimes. I hate you. And so I told my keyboard, you need to please, please cooperate with me. I'm Jack Sparrow in my free time. We're artists. Artists do, do I've got, drugs. <laughs> I went on TikTok and I post myself as Captain Jack Sparrow, you see, and I get lots of views on TikTok. I really like the idea of a bear motorboating, though. <laughs> Bears need love too. Did we did we tack this onto another podcast? Quite possibly. Yeah, it says an hour and a half. <clears throat> Time flies. <laughs> okay. I'll figure it out. All right, before the interview.